Hey everybody, it's Joey Smith with Team Elite FTS and Team Nebo Barbell. I've got a lot of questions about how we adjust our jack shirts, our metal jack shirts or our metal ace shirts, how we uh, adjust the sleeves, how we inflate the sleeves, how much you cut off the sleeves, what other type of things you can do to the shirt to get it adjusted for you to help you. With the jack shirts, they take a little bit more adjustment to do than with the ace. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do and how to do it with a brand new jack shirt right here that I have. And I've got the stuff laid out that we're going to use. A couple of footballs that I got from Walmart that are like a couple of dollars a piece. I've already deflated them. Of course, an air pump. Just a spray bottle with water in it. I have a couple of pair of scissors out here and something to keep them sharp with. And this is a stock 58 shirt right here. Okay. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut about an inch off this sleeve. And you'd rather cut a little bit at a time than a lot at one time because you can't make the material back up. So you need to, you know, some people may want to start with a half inch first. But I know how to do this because I've done it with my shirts enough. I usually start with about an inch and uh, I'll try it on. Make sure that it gets over my elbows. And uh, I'll just show you the simple basic of what I'm going to do with cutting this. <clears throat> About right there is an inch. I try to keep it even. These are just regular old household scissors. back and shape this up and then I'll take it to uh, my seamstress who will uh, re-stitch this all the way around to secure it. But for video purposes I'm just showing you what I do first. Then the next thing I do is I take my spray bottle and I wet the sleeve real good. Doing this allows the material to stretch a lot better. Footballs in it, the material will give better. And I really saturate it down good. So I'll take one of these footballs and I'll slide it in the sleeve. And I'll slide it down as good as I can get, as deep as I can get it, so the hole's still exposed so I can air it back up. Alright. Needle in it. Next question is going to be, well, how, how do you know how much air to put in this thing? Well, it's kind of a guess. I don't want the seams to bust. I'll check around and make sure everything's all right. It's not blown up enough. Some more in it. Sound you're hearing is the football popping. Now, a lot of us do this with these jack shirts, these sleeves are tapered down real hard. Somebody like me that's got a big forearm, it's real hard to get these sleeves over your forearm. So once you take off your inch or half inch or an inch and a half and put this football in it and expand the sleeve, it'll allow you to get it over your forearm a lot better, plus allowing it to get up higher above your elbow. All right. Okay. Shows you that one sleeve. I'm going to show you one more time for this sleeve. We're going to put a football in this one. Same deal. I'm going to cut about an inch. And like I said before, I usually do about an inch or an inch and a quarter. It'll just depend. I know that's real cl close. You can put your other piece that you cut off right next to it to give you a, 
I line up to where you want to go. It's about right there. Like I said a minute ago, I will go back and shake this up a little bit, plus my seamstress, she'll straighten it up and she'll reinforce the sleeve all the way around. Stitch it like four or five times to reinforce that sleeve right there so it, nothing busts, no seams busts or anything like that. Same deal, wet it first. seems to burst. Okay? Use some common sense. I have busted a sleeve before. It does happen, but be careful with it. Alright, that should be good enough right there. As you can see, it's, it's already stretching the sleeve. Just like that with the other one. All right, next question I get a lot about this is, how long do I leave the football in the sleeve? Okay. What I usually do is, if I know that I'm not going to be using the shirt for a shirted bench, you know, a week from now, I'll leave these footballs in there for at least five days. Every day, though, wherever the shirt is, wherever I have it sitting at, I'll come back each day and spray some water around the sleeve just to make sure that the material can stretch and if I need to put a little bit more air in it I will just give it a pump or two and I'll just let it sit okay some people may differ one day two day three day but if I'm not going to use it for a week let it sit all week that way you for sure certain know that this sleeve is stretched out for you okay so we've got that I'm going to throw this on the floor, and I'm going to show you a finished jack shirt. Okay, and this is what I was talking about. I take it to my seamstress, and she straightens the sleeve up and gets it to look better, and she really stitches the crap out of it right through here, and especially right here to make sure that it stays together. I've done a ton of lifts in this shirt and never had a problem. Okay, um, this shirt in particular, I took an inch and a half out on it because before I took it to her to have her um, reinforce this sleeve, I tried it on and it was still covering my elbow even though it was all the way, the shirt was all the way up in my armpit, so I had to take another half inch off. With this shirt that I just trimmed, I'll probably do that again, but take a little bit off at a time. It depends on the person, the individual, how they're built, how tight you like your shirt. Like I said, I weigh 300 pounds. This is a stock 58 shirt. And uh, it's pretty tight on me once I put it on. If I do not do this to the sleeves, I cannot get it over my forearms. And I cannot get the shirt pulled in as tight as I'd like to. Um, so I have to do this for myself. Now some people don't like tight shirts. Some people like loose shirts but I want everything that I can get out of the shirt. All right, a couple more things I'm gonna show you real quick. Um, she pinched off just a little bit back here in the tricep area. You know, it's not much, but my, sh my arms fill these shirts out so tight. So that was enough for me. Um, Jeremy Frey showed me this a few years ago on one of his A shirts, and I thought it was a great idea. Um, but as the shirt gets more use in it, the threads get stretched and the material gets stretched more, I can start pinching it off a little more and a little deeper. Like I said, do a little bit at a time on this stuff. Don't get carried away. Now these jack shirts have these um, 
things on the back that you when when you have your partner pulling the shirt on you when they're pulling it on I had my seamstress reinforce this better because we've actually pulled these off before because the shirts on me so tight so it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have that done as well you've already got it there to her whoever your seamstress is have them reinforce this we took this part off because it, it was sewed in the middle and you had like two two little loops like that we popped that off so we could get our full hand in there to pull the shirt on but definitely reinforce these because we've pulled them off off a couple of shirts putting them on me so but anyways that's the finished product this shirt fits me perfect now it took a little bit of modification but nothing serious um, my seamstress charged me like ten dollars to do the sleeves, to pinch the triceps, so really you have a minute amount of money even in this and hardly any time. We did this in two or three minutes, let it sit for you know a few days, make sure you wet the sleeves down with the football still in it, and then de deflate the football and pull them out, give it a try, see how it fits. You may want to deflate the football two or three days after it's been sitting, take them out and try it on. That may be enough for you. Do not overinflate the football or you will bust this seam right here. All right, do a little bit at a time and uh, see if that works for you. I hope this helps everybody with the questions that I've gotten about how to adjust these shirts. Um, my A shirts, I don't have to do this much adjustment to. It's pretty much just stock. I do have to put the footballs in them. I don't have to trim the sleeves. The jacks are the ones that I have to trim the sleeves with, as do a lot of other lifters. But my ace is stock right off the right off the shelf. I don't really do anything to it except put the footballs in it and expand the sleeves a little bit, and that's really about it. If you have any more questions, you can hit me up on the Q&A on Elite FTS. And my name is Joey Smith with Team Elite FDS and Team Nebo Barbell. Thank you for listening, and I hope this helps.